Oh, damn it. So I'm up at Tahoe, and as you can probably see behind me, we have not had the best conditions for getting out on the trails for mountain biking. Uh, in the May, had seven inches of snow this morning. Most of it's melted away. It's starting to rain again. Anyways, I did sneak out for a ride on the better weather days we've had a couple days ago down Armstrong and Corral. And on this ride I'm going to show you, it's kind of one of those rides that really kind of expose the weaknesses of the older design of my bike. I'll kind of talk about that at the end of the video. So for now, I think we'll hop into this ride. So we are doing Armstrong Pass. Too early in the year, that's a log feature covered in snow. And um, yeah, there's still a lot of snow everywhere. Oh crap, this is a bad area with all these trees close to each other. Oh, damn it. Well, okay, too early in the year still. Oh look, I'm on top of a log feature. Ooh. Oh, damn it. Bounce the chain off, bouncing the snow off my bike. All right, I think we're through the snowy part. Let's see if my bike still works. Oh yeah, sounds, sounds awesome. Okay. Oh great, I should probably go slow until my brakes start working better. They're soaking. Okay, just, just. My brakes are working awesome. Well, this is a whew, nice point to take in the view. Okay, I am just flicking dirt in my face now too. See, my back, wow, my back brake is really not. Yeah, my back brake sucks right now. Man, this is just a beautiful trail and a beautiful time of year to do it, even though it was a pain in the butt going through that snow. I'd say that this is worth it. Wow, okay, maybe I should look at the trail. Too much looking at that beautiful view.
dead end. Why did it say that? Should have rolled it. Ouch. Oh, damn it. Clip my elbow. Uh, stopping it there before that little section. Really? I can't wait to get a new bike. The dropper post. All right. Guess you could have come down that rock face. Just don't want to risk some of this stuff on this older bike. Here we are. All right, we're coming up on Upper Corral and some other trail. I think we're gonna take the, the other one. Okay, the Sidewinder it is then. Double tab. All right. First time on this trail, any of these trails, so I'm not trying to hit any of these features yet. All right, now I gotta put my seat down. Right, let's go. Why would this trail be called Sidewinder? I wonder why. bike was working perfect and we went 
through all that snow. And then we went on the dirt. And now, there's a bunch of gunk in it and it's not working all that great. Surprise. <sighs> Too much dirt. <sighs> Too much dirt and everything. Let's see if that helps. We're gonna see if my spit wash helped at all. Seems to have, to be honest. somebody might have uh, overdone the switchbacks there a little bit in the creepy dark forest I think I could do with some more switchbacks. I just, I just don't have enough of them in my life right now. More switchbacks. I need a way better bike for this. My suspension is way too stiff. That'd be fun with a better bike though. Okay, so it's been quite a long time since I actually filmed that video about a month ago and I did say I was going to talk about what was wrong with this bike at the end and the reality of it is uh, this bike has a lot wrong with it compared to modern designs and I think I'm going to do a whole comparison video and especially since I did get a new bike now you will see that in a video coming up but real quickly what was happening on that ride that you just watched is that the snow I was running over the snow snow was sticking to the tire sand rocks pine needles pieces of pine cones were sticking to the snow they'd come up here hit this old brake uh, linkage and the suspension linkage here and all that junk would shear down into the front derailleur and this front derailleur is the more i rode this bike it is the thing that i couldn't stand about this and modern mountain bikes don't have a front derailleur they just stick with one single cassette and oh let me tell you there's a reason why you you saw me in the video i was actually spitting water out of my camel back to wash this area out I've had pebbles bouncing here and I can't use it. Just, I 
completely 100% understand why they moved away from this design. Anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a whole comparison video because there is so much that has changed in the last 15 years or even 10 years, and um, yeah, I'm not on this bike anymore. So um, we shall see.